For thousands of years, people have looked at the stars with a deep curiosity about the universe and the sudden question, are we alone? As new research continues, the idea that Earth is the only celestial body that harbors life is being challenged. Among the many discoveries, one stands out, Saturn's moon, Enceladus. This icy satellite turns out to be one of the best candidates for extraterrestrial life. What experts found in this amazing light and amazing features obtained from these discoveries? Get ready for a world tour that will challenge everything you thought you knew, the famous planet Saturn orbits the Sun at a distance of 870 million miles. With a diameter of 75,000 miles, this gas giant is the second largest planet in the solar system and is accompanied by 82 moons. Of these, Enceladus is one of the most intriguing and mysterious. Enceladus, known since 1789, is 300 miles across the equator and is covered by a layer of ice. This outer surface is decorated with many pits, faults, and depressions, which are of good quality due to the high purity of the water ice. With the highest albedo in the solar system, Enceladus reflects 99% of the sun's rays, contributing to a surface temperature of about 330 degrees Fahrenheit. The gravity of Enceladus extends beyond the outer ice. Scientists have learned that part of the moon's surface is still very young, indicating terrestrial activity. This activity will reveal a unique cryovolcanism, large pools of water on the moon's surface. Enceladus is the smallest known celestial body in our solar system for which terrestrial processes have been observed. Our knowledge of these amazing feats is largely due to the research program of the Cassini Unmanned Space Probe. In the spring of 2005, Cassini observed Enceladus in several passes and found a thin layer of water vapor on the moon. This gas appears to be fed by ice volcanoes or geysers on Enceladus, and an interesting region in Antarctica suggests some kind of local hot spring. Geological activity on Enceladus is characterized by large fault systems that are parallel to each other. These depressions can be up to 100 feet deep and stretch for hundreds of miles. It is possible that ice masses near the surface of the moon may move in convective currents and eventually cause this melting process. However, the observations recorded on the surface of Enceladus are not the ones that are most surprising to scientists. Measurements of gravity provide clues that an unimaginable ocean lies beneath the moon's thick ice layer. The continuous release of ice particles and water vapor observed in the rift system in the Antarctic region points to the influence of many geothermal systems, possibly fed by a subglacial reservoir. At first, experts thought it was a water source. However, Further studies have shown that the water beneath Enceladus is not a small body of water, but a large ocean that extends over the entire surface of the moon. This subterranean ocean separates a thick layer of surface ice from the underlying rock, which is shown by the variations in the rotation of the moon. The presence of liquid water is thought to be an essential ingredient for the development of life, raising the possibility that indigenous microorganisms may have already appeared on Enceladus. The chemical nature of the large fountains that erupt from the lunar geysers supports this idea. In addition to ice particles and water vapor, methane has also been detected in these emissions. Scientists performed extensive statistical analysis to uncover methane's composition, and came to the surprising conclusion that tiny microbes were responsible. Scientists have long suspected that hot springs exist on the ocean floor below the surface, where conditions are favorable for life. These geothermal gases, compared to black smokers on Earth, can support microbes that produce energy without sunlight. The Cassini mission provided information on the composition of the thermal emissions, showing the abundance of methane that cannot be explained by non-biological mechanisms alone, this evidence points to the presence of hydrothermal vents in Enceladus subsurface oceans. If life could develop near these hot springs on Earth, a similar process would occur on Saturn's moons. Experts agree that the ideal conditions for life on Enceladus have existed for billions of years, giving life enough time to develop. Although the hypothesis for life on Enceladus is strong, it is not conclusive evidence. Methane may come from an unknown source, but the potential for life remains intriguing. 
As we look to the future, new information from ongoing research brings us closer to answering the profound question of whether we are alone in the universe. The potential for life on Enceladus is not only an exciting idea, but a major driver of future space travel. The critical evidence collected by Cassini sets the stage for future discoveries. Missions like the Enceladus Life Finder, ELF, or Enceladus Orbilander aim to delve deeper into the Moon's mysteries. These missions plan to analyze clouds that have just landed on Earth's surface for signs of life. The prospect of discovering extraterrestrial microorganisms will not only change our understanding of biology, but also change our place in the universe. The discovery of a vast ocean beneath the surface of Enceladus, full of potential for life, raises questions about the spread of life in the solar system and beyond. If life exists in the harsh, icy conditions of Enceladus, it may exist on other icy moons such as Jupiter's Europa, or even on distant exoplanets with similar conditions. This will expand the field of astrobiology and encourage the search for life in harsh environments. The presence of liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it, and the presence of carbon molecules, strengthens the case for life beyond Earth. In addition, Enceladus acts as a natural laboratory for understanding the origin of life. The moon's thermal winds are reminiscent of Earth's past, where life is said to have originated. By studying Enceladus, scientists can understand the processes that led to the birth of life. This helps us understand the flexibility and adaptability of life forms. The possible discovery of life on Enceladus suggests that it is not a rare event, that life is simply a product of planetary activity, revealing a deeper understanding of the nature of life on Earth. The implications of finding life on Enceladus are beyond scientific curiosity. That discovery has profound implications for science and religion, challenging long held beliefs about the uniqueness of humans. This will reevaluate our place in the world and give us a stronger sense of unity and care for our world. Therefore, the search for life on Enceladus is not just a scientific quest, but a journey that answers fundamental questions about life, purpose, and the interconnectedness of all life. As we are always on the verge of new discoveries, the story of Enceladus shows the importance of space exploration. This shows the need for continued investment in missions that push the boundaries of our knowledge and explore the unknown. Trying to understand Enceladus is a sign of human intelligence and understanding. It reminds us that even in the coldest and most distant reaches of the solar system, there may be a spark of life waiting to be discovered, forever changing our understanding of the universe and our place in it. The discovery of Enceladus also emphasizes the importance of international cooperation in space exploration. Missions to remote and challenging locations require not only technical expertise, but the integration of expertise and resources from around the world. The Cassini project itself is a joint effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Italian Space Agency, ASI. Future missions to Enceladus will continue this trend bringing together scientists, engineers, and space agencies from different countries to tackle the complex challenges of space exploration. This collaboration will spur innovation and accelerate our understanding of the world. I, in addition to advancing science and collaboration, the exploration of Enceladus provides a great opportunity for the development of new technologies. The extreme conditions and unique challenges presented by Enceladus required innovations in spacecraft design, communication systems and data analysis techniques. These advances not only improve our ability to explore other worlds, but also have practical applications on Earth. For example, technologies developed for space travel often find their way into everyday life, improving medical devices, environmental monitoring and consumer electronics. Therefore, Gaining knowledge about Enceladus will help advance technologies that benefit society at large. As we look forward to future discoveries of Enceladus, it is important to keep in mind the broader context of our quest to understand the world beyond Earth. The search for extraterrestrial life is not about finding other people, but about answering fundamental questions about our existence and the nature of life itself. Each new discovery, whether on Enceladus or elsewhere, brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe and the potential for life in unexpected places.
The journey to uncover the mysteries of Enceladus is a profound reminder of the endless curiosity and determination that drives humans to explore the unknown.